Hey guys, Marina here, known as 360 of Life on Instagram. I will be showing you how to do this simple bronzy look, so please keep on watching. I'm going to start with Benefits Eye Primer. This one is the light medium. I'll just apply like this and then go in with a brush. And then I'll just get like a brush from LC and put it all over my lid. Like you're applying shadow basically. You could use your fingers, but I feel like with the fingers, when it dries up, you could see lines and patches. Next, I'll use the LC's E1 brush. It looks just like that. And I'm going to dip in blank start and just apply. I'm not really putting it on my lid. I'm just almost putting it on my lid. I'm putting it in my socket. Oh, you want to apply this color really well so the other color will blend in better. I love applying this color a lot because you see the color is better and blending better. I'm going to use the same brush, the E1 brush, and go in with the color Warmth. And then putting it right in the socket, I'm just basically warming it up and brushing it off. And I'm using like a circular motion so I don't see any light lines and it blends better. And this brush is so soft and it blends, like it does the job for you very easily. And just brush it off. You'll, like you can see the difference already. And this look is pretty easy. If you think like using a bronze look, like um, it's going to take time and honestly it's not going to take time. Time. And I keep blending the same color and then I clean it off, go back in and blend more and brush it out. The next one, um, I'll use this brush, E4, and then I'll go in Tone Up, which is this color right here. You don't want to put too much. All you want to put is this much because I'm still going to use the E1 brush to blend it out. So you want to apply with this, which I do, and then I blend it in with this color. Again, circular motion, going upwards, not too much. Going in with Clean 1, E1, whatever, <laughs> and you just blend it in. Clean on a napkin again, go back in and blend it out. Again, I always say the more you think about it when you're applying it, that's when it becomes a mess and it becomes too much. So I want to go in deeper with that color. So I'm going to go more with the tone up. I'm trying to build in the crease because once I put the jewel, the topaz, you want to see it. Like you don't want to see just the jewel, the topaz on it. You just want to keep blending the color and then you'll see at the end how it looks. It looks really pretty. All I'm doing is getting that same color and just blending and blending. And brushing it out with whatever is left on the brush. So for underneath, I'm going to use the E2. With the same color right underneath. And always take out that extra powder even though um, with this shadow you barely not even I would I mean I wouldn't even say that you have fallout so you have nothing to worry about but if any shadow you do this and you have fallout just put the translucent powder underneath which I'm supposed to be doing that right when I put the jewel just putting it underneath and just building the color and I will add more color with the pencil brush by LC. It's E5. Just right in the corners also. Just connecting it. And then going back with the E4. Brushing it out. And then I will go back with E1. Just blend it. Trying to put the color. Basically prepping for my next step. Now I'm going to be using the Elsie's Jewel, and this is how it looks like. This is the color Topaz. 
Um, you could use the brush to apply it, but I feel like when you use your fingers, it applies smoother, like creamier than the brush, but you could always apply over it with the brush just to, you know, get the areas you couldn't. So once you, it feels so creamy, so beautiful. Look how it looks. Like right here. See, I'm just like applying it softly because little goes a long way because it's so creamy. It's not cream, but it just feels like cream. I just love this thing, so I keep applying it until I get the look I want. Mainly, I'm concentrating right in the middle of the lid, and then I just spread it a little above. That's when I will go back with the flat brush again, the E2 that we used underneath. Again, with the brush also, it applies well because you can see how much product it grabs. And going right in here. Okay, hold that thought. So since I'm applying that, I could tell that the, you know, no when you're applying with a brush, you could have that little shadows coming down. So I'm going to apply, so I'm going to use a translucent powder by Laura Mercier and using the F9 by Elsie and applying it right underneath my eye. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to apply it and then I will dust it off at the end. Now I could go in and use the brush. So I'm going to apply with this brush again on this eye and going in a corner, around, and just pressing motion and just a little bit brushing upwards, going downwards, I'm sorry. How beautiful is this color, you guys? It's enough for me. I go in with E1 by LC again and I'm going to be using this color again. A little bit not too much and then I go back into my crease and blend you want to apply more color on the corner than in here you don't want to go I don't know to me it doesn't look nice so what I do I apply more color outer corner and then I could just brush it off whatever it's left and then clean the brush and then just brush it up then I'll probably use a little bit of, with my pencil brush, I'm going to use the brown and go underneath right here. I'm not applying all the way down. I'm not applying it on top. Just keeping it neutral for my inner uh, waterline. So what I'm going to use is, this is a lip liner. I couldn't find it, but I love this color for using it on my waterline. It's like a bronzy look. It's Jouer's Long Lasting shimmer bronze shimmer lip liner but i'm going to use it for my eyes because it's so beautiful i don't know why would you even use this as a lip liner i don't know it's like a very shimmer bronze see it just makes a difference when you use a bronzier um, eyeliner inside i already applied um lashful mascara by elsie this is actually um two coats i did this is how the brush looks so when I applied one coat, I just wave it off, wait a little, finish off whatever makeup I need to do. Because once you keep applying while it's wet, that's when it gets clumpy, clumped up and then they just all stick together. And then you put the second coat, that's when you get this like lashful look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using the F8 again and just dust off what the powder I put up, applied under my eyes. And then I go and I'm going to be using the Light Plus. I usually use either Medium or Light Plus, uh, the Mineralized Skin Finish under my eyes. And I'm going to apply it with the F8 brush. When I'm brushing it off with the Mineralized Finish, I just basically shape it. There, and then you just take out that powder that was like falling out on your cheeks. And then I'll go and apply mascara under my eyes. Wow. Okay, so I applied the mascara and it touched right there. I don't clean it until it's dry. When it's dry, it's so easy to basically clean it off just with a Q-tip. So while I'm going to let that dry, I'm going to go and put my bronzer on. 
a little bit more. I have a little bit on, but I'm, I just love bronzing it right after my eyes are done. So I'm going to be applying the medi in medium. So I'm going to use the F7 to apply the bronzer. Since I did a bronzer look, I love bronzing my face. So again, three, like one, wherever the sun hits, basically. One, two, and then a little bit right here. My other videos, I showed how to apply um, with cream bronzing, but this one is just powder. I feel like powder sometimes for a bronzy or, you know, you don't want to do too much. You could go in with just a powder right after you set in your foundation. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Becca and the color is um, opal. And I'm going to use also the Elsie's E11 fan brush. Right. Whoa, this is insane, but I love it. And I just put it right here, here. I don't know if I apply it too much, but I don't care. And then a little bit right on the bridge of my nose. As for my blush, I'm going to use the Jouer's Adore Blush Duo. And I'm probably going to be using this one. I don't like too much blush, but this one looks really pretty. It's called Hold Me. And again, I'll go whatever I used for my bronzer. I'm going to be using that. Not too much. This looks like a really pretty color. Yeah, it is pretty. Then I will clean that mascara that touched. For eyes, that's it. What I did, I used this to shape it. And I used the Tamnova uh, Brow Kit. And then... I just brush it up. I love this brush. It's amazing brush. It's an amazing brush. Just brush it off. I'm not going to apply lashes on because, I mean, you can, this look, you could also go ahead and uh, right when you apply the mascara on, it already, it already gives you that fullness. So what you could do is get the individuals by Ardell, the flare ones, just apply a little here and there if you have to go somewhere and it gives you that wispy look. And for my lips, it's just a nice uh, neutral brown lip liner. I'm going to put this on right now. So what I'm going to do, and I don't usually overline my lips, but I'm going to overline very little. And I use it this, the flat part, then the pointy part, so it could give like a softer look. And for the lip gloss, I am obsessed with this lip gloss. It's by Dose of Colors, her new launch, her new collection, the lip gloss. And this one is called Honey, I'm Home. I love this color and basically it's not sticky. Um, smells good, tastes good. It's all you want. I love this lip gloss. It's my go-to for now. And the application is really good so you could even like fix it. There you go. So here it is. This is the final look. Just a very simple bronzy look. So if you like it, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe.